Hello YouTube, today is my one week post op video. Sorry, I'm in like a super retarded mood and I'm not going to hide that from you. So yeah, this is who I am. I'm a nutcase. So you'll see this throughout my videos probably. As I get thinner and more energetic, I'll probably be doing cartwheels on cam and stupid crap. So just viewers beware. Anyway. So, today's one week. I feel excellent. Excelente. I can already lay on my side. Um, I don't know if I mentioned in any of my other videos. If I repeat myself, sorry. Um, so, yeah, I sleep. I don't sleep on my back. I sleep on my stomach or my side, and it's been killing me to sleep on my back. But, I can now start to lay on my side, so that's good. I have no pain. I'm really energetic today. Everything's been really good. So, tomorrow they take out my staples and my drain. And I have lost, ding, 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 22 pounds. So, I'm just going to be a fatty and let you all know how bad it is because I know it's getting better. I'm not going to be ashamed. I'm just going to grow a pair and tell you how fat I am. So, um, I am. <laughs> no. I, I went for my orisi uh, original consultation about two years ago, and at that point, I weighed 393 pounds, and yeah, um, and then I got really depressed, so I'm pretty sure that I probably gained weight past the 393, I was probably more on like the 410s, 415s or something, because I know that I went up pant sizes and dress sizes and stuff after that consultation, but I just didn't have a scale that would weigh me. So, sorry, I'm going to stop clicking the cap to my water bottle because that's probably annoying in the background. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure that I probably was somewhere in the 400s, but I have no actual, you know, weight for that. So, 393 is the highest weight that I ever got on a scale and was calculated for. So that's where I'm sticking. So, um, this year, I told you that I had lost some weight. Um, my consultation in October, I weighed 348 pounds, and since that consultation, I have lost 22 pounds. So I am now down to, I stink at math off the top of my head, so I had it written down, and then 326 pounds. So I weighed 326 pounds this morning, and yes, I'm happy. So everything's been going really well, and tomorrow... The drain get pulled, the drain gets pulled, and the staples come out. So, all is well. Um, and my incisions are really tiny, so I'm actually pretty stoked about that. Um, and hopefully tomorrow they will tell me that I can start on my soft foods, because I want to put something in me, even though I'm terrified. I just want to chew. Like, I really just want to chew. Like, I've chewed the crap out of Jello, and it's really not real, real chewing, not real chewage. So, I just want something in my tummy. So we'll find out tomorrow. I'm supposed to meet with my surgeon to get all that stuff taken out and my nutritionist to figure out where I go from here. So, um, yeah. I already feel like my energy boosting and yesterday I couldn't stay in the house any longer so I went and I got my hair did. Um, I have hot pink highlights and they were washing out, so I put them in myself and then I went to the hair salon and um, I already had the blonde streak, so all I basically did was they were starting to wash out baby pink. So um, I just put the hot pink back in and I went, I drove around my town to the hair salon with a plastic bag on my head like a psychopath and um, I had them wash it and blow dry it for me so that um, none of the, uh, da, 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 hair dye or anything got on my incisions or anything, so I did it very safely, and I will wash, I took a shower with a shower cap, so I'm good. Um, and I know that I'm not supposed to dye my hair, but the pink stuff that I use is Manic Panic Hot Hot Pink. And it's all natural, ammonia free, peroxide free, there's nothing in it. It doesn't even smell at all. So, um, yeah, it's it's okay for me to use. Anyway, um doo -doo 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 -doo. 
I also hope that I can start taking my um, bariatric advantage because I have like I have the multi and I have the calcium citrate and I have the chewable iron and I have the B12 and I have biotin that I bought already so hopefully tomorrow I'll get the okay to start the vitamins I told you I'm in a really weird mood like I haven't been this happy in a while and I don't know and I feel like my brain's functioning better too like I used to have a really bad time with like remembering stuff off the top of my head like I was like retarded and lately it's like bing and I just know and I'm like holy crap I couldn't have done that and I don't know if it's like this non fatty food clarity that people speak of and because I've been on a liquid diet so long that like I don't know maybe my the fat around my brain is being lost I don't know but I feel like I can think clearer but I probably still sound retarded right now, so whatever. Um, yeah. What else is there? What else? Oh, I had a visit from the visiting nurse service, and everything was good, and she called me today that she was going to come tomorrow, and I was like, eh, no. I was like, don't come tomorrow, because I have my surgeon's appointment tomorrow. That's a waste. She's like, okay, I'll come on Thursday. I'm like, whatever. That's stupid. Like... My surgery only approved me for, like, three, um, visits from them. So, it's like, I don't know, I think it's stupid. But I really don't need them either, because I'm not in pain, and I, I, I don't have any signs of infection or anything. I don't have a fever. I feel great, so I think that I'm doing well, so I don't really think that they need to come, but I just, I think it's a waste to come the day after I go see my surgeon. Like, if anything was wrong, he'd tell me then, you know, but whatever. Um, what else? Oh. Oh, I got an A- in my speech class. Yay! And, um, bad news. Not happy. I haven't been to the dentist in a very long time because I haven't had insurance in a very long time. But I now have insurance, yay, because I paid for my surgery. Um, and I also have dental insurance now, so I went to the dentist after, like, I don't know, 10 to 6 to 10 years or something that I haven't been to the dentist. And I thought that I was okay because I never have any pain in my mouth. Well, I have nine cavities and I need a root canal. So, tomorrow evening I have to go back to the dentist's office and I'm going to fill six of the cavities. And then the following day I have to go for a cleaning. And then on the fifth, I have to go for a root canal. So, eek, I did bad. But at least I quit smoking, so all of that tartar and all that buildup and all that plaque and all that yucky, nasty stuff that gets all over my teeth will no longer be there. So, and I'll go for routine cleanings and checkups and stuff. Because a routine cleaning isn't that expensive, even if you don't have insurance. So, that's what it is. Um, but, what else? Oh, I hope, I hope soon, too, that I can, they put me on protonics, I don't know, I know every surgeon is different, it's like, um, an anti-acid, like a really strong one, so that I won't get ulcers or anything, and I have to take it for like the next six months, however, it doesn't come in capsule form, and it doesn't come in any other form but a coated pill. So, I've been having to crush it and take it. And it tastes like the nastiest crap I've ever put in my mouth. It's like that chemical pill taste. Like, really, really bad. So, um, not happy. At all. And, oh crap, I'm ready at nine minutes. I have to cut this fast. So, um, yeah. Hopefully I can soon take pills rather than having to crush that and taste that because that's just disgusting. Anyway, um, let me get off of here because it's not going to let me post this if I don't shut up. Okay, hope everybody's doing really well and happy and healthy and see you all later. Bye.